All right, I'm back out here on the same trail at Burr Oak doing the same loop I did the other day. Thought I'd get out here and get a little hiking in again and wanted to do a different trail, but some of the lake's flooded right now. So figured I'd get out here and enjoy what I could. I'll turn around here and show you. Looking back towards the parking lot, there's a couple cars over there in the parking lot. and So I might see somebody out on the trail today. All right, I'm gonna head down this way and get through the muddy area and get on the trail. Probably do the same six mile loop that I did before and might uh, extend it on out towards Boat Dock 3 a little further and get a few extra miles in. So here's what I'm facing. I'm gonna turn the camera off to get through this mud for now. Went downhill here a little bit and thought I'd show you this continues to be the trail. The rain's really taking a toll on it, so pretty soft and slippery and just gotta watch your footing going downhill like this. Alright, gonna continue on. Down over the hill here now and headed towards the twin bridges area. So I realized when I watched the other video that I needed to turn the camera sideways so you guys could see a little bit more more of the trail so I'm gonna try to remember to do that each time I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna head out the white trail towards the uh, boat dock number three and probably go out there and do that loop and then come back on the blue and yellow the Buckeye trail and the backpack trail so I'm gonna Take the alternate trail here and head this direction and give you some of the some views of some areas that I didn't record last time. So alright, continuing on. Alright, we just climbed up out of the ravine there and now we're heading up here through this used to be an old field. They let it grow up into uh into a brushy clearing, I guess. We're approaching up here the red trail comes in I showed you the other end of where the red trail connects with the blue trail in the last video and this is the end of the of the red where it connects with the white so thought I'd share that we're heading up here to it and we're gonna continue on out on out the white and connect up with the blue and yellow trail so you can make a shorter loop here and go down the red so heading out this way out through the red clay all right i just come down off the hill right there taking some of these switchbacks here i'm gonna head down this way to the first place the trail connects up with the buckeye trail so this will be the second loop if you was coming from the lodge then uh the first loop being the red trail that you can take and then if you continue on out here then you can connect up here with the the white and the blue trail and create a loop and then there's additional loop on up over the hill here that, that uh where the, the trail split again so i'm gonna continue here and jump across the creek here and see if I can make it and then continue up here towards the trail split so thought I'd show you that area and the creek that flows through here this is one of the bigger ravines on this side of the lake this is also the area when I come back and head back towards the lodge then this is the ravine that has that natural rock bridge and some of the big boulders i shared in the last video all right i'm gonna get up here and take the take the split in the trail and i'll show you where the trails come together on up over the hill all right i'm up over the hill here now as you can tell by my heavier breathing but we're on one of the little sections of trail where the white and the buckeye trail run together until we get up here to the second trail split so this is a good place to be able to do the bigger loop from the lodge. 
what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go. Time, 31 minutes, 43 seconds. Distance, 1.5 miles. Pace, 21 minutes, 8 seconds per mile. See, I'm doing a little slower pace in the mud today, so hopefully I can get closer to three mile an hour. All right, this is where it splits. White goes that way. Blue and yellow go this way. I'm going to continue out this way. What I'm going to do is do a loop, come back into that white, and then go down to the other trail split and head back to the lodge. So should be about eight miles or so by the time it's all said and done. So you've seen some of this area yesterday on video so I'm gonna turn this off and I'll show you when we get to something else we're getting a little further up the Buckeye Trail here headed towards boat dock number three right now you can look out on the lake in this area been watching there's a nesting pair of bald eagles on the lake and sometimes you get a glimpse of them up here so been looking out across trying to see them and Maybe we'll get lucky enough to see them today, and if we're really lucky, maybe get them on camera. So we'll see if they can make that happen, and we'll continue on down this way. Doing this loop opposite of the way I did yesterday. This is about the area where I started my video yesterday on my way back. All right, bye for now. We'll see if we can get down this hill without falling down here. And just wanted to show you this is a pretty nice area of the lake nice view the lake comes around and out and continues up towards the source of the, of the lake up there so just thought i'd share a nice view area here so all right bye again thought i'd take a chance to show you how far the lake's up right now out there in the water about halfway out you can see the normal line where the lake would end normally it'd be a couple feet deep there at the most and now we're into the trees in the woods and this is how far the lake is backed up right now clear up into the woods a good ways so what's making the trails a challenge that's why i'm up here doing this ridge trail instead of down around some of the marinas and hiking in a different area so just thought i'd share this all right bye Okay, we're at our first challenging creek crossing of the day, so let's we'll see what I can do to get across here and maybe try to stay dry. I'd rather not take my shoes off if I can avoid it, but it's looking like I might have to. So, all right, thought I'd show you a view of the creek. All right, made it across. Had to take my shoes off as I expected, so luckily it's 50 degrees. The weather's not too bad. The water's still cold did end up getting the bottom of my shorts wet in the process but they'll dry as I hike so continuing uphill here and on out the trail all right I skipped filming a little bit of that loop figure I'd save some of that for another day we're looking down the hill here towards uh, where the white trail just come up into this group camp area we call it the scout area we do a lot of camping here with the boy scouts so the blue and yellow connected over the hill here with the white and i'll record that at a different time i'm heading here towards the shoulder house then i'm gonna go down the white trail here so i thought i would share some of that i'll get closer to the shoulder house here and give you a view of the stage that we built out here all right i'm down here towards the shoulder house and just a small little shelter and park continues or the group camp continues on up through there and this shoulder house is used by scout troops when they camp here sometimes and used to host some events down here over the hill where we're going out the white trail is a stage that was built here there was an old stage that was was redone and this was just recently redone by our boy scout troop as a eagle scout project out here so we put a lot of hard work into that and uh hopefully it gets used by a lot of people so all right we'll continue on down the trail i'm approaching the creek here again out here coming back on the white trail luckily i can see the creeks up but lucky the, this area is one of the areas that has a bridge so you can see it's up i'll 
stop here on the bridge and show you. Water's coming through. It's definitely came over the bridge. It's flowing down. So probably five times the amount of water flow would normally have through here. So we're just lucky enough to have a bridge here. All right, we're going to continue out up over the ridge and out that way. We're headed down through here on the white trail. This is a old field area that they've let go back to the forest and it's about half grown with mature trees. So we're headed down to the split black with the blue and yellow trail and then we're going to head out to create the figure eight. We're going to head out the trail, oh, the blue trail that I was on yesterday. So I'll show you the trail split down here again when I get there. Okay, this is the area where the trail splits off here and I'm coming downhill here and wanted to show you. That's where I went out the out the blue trail and then the trail runs together here for a little bit till it splits off again. Alright, I'm gonna head down that way and I'll show you that split. Alright, this is where the trail splits here. I just came down down this way on this section and the blue continues out that way and the white just came from down there so i'm gonna head out this way probably gonna be the last video i sh shoot because i recorded this on my last hike and i'm running low on battery so i try to get some footage when i get back to the car bye for now all right finishing up the trail getting through the muddy area here so thought i'd turn this on to show you the end all in all end up being a pretty good hike a little muddy out here but we've had a lot of rain and a lot of flooding so it's not a surprise so getting ready to run out of power on the phone here so I'm gonna wrap this up but here's the end of the trail there's the car all right bye for now